Hey there guys, today I'm on a family fishing trip slash camping trip and currently I'm on the East Fork of the Black River in the White Mountains of Arizona and I've caught several of these little rainbow trout and my wife mentioned that it might make a good a simple how-to video uh, for someone who may be interested in how to gut and clean a fish and get it ready for the frying pan. So that's what I'm going to do. If you're not into that thing, probably you want to turn off the video now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a nice firm grip on your fish and get like one or two fingers inside the gills here like this. You can put one finger in the mouth like that, but I just like to get it on both sides just like that. Get yourself a good sharp knife. Um, I like this Victorinox. And then you're gonna start right down here, which is the butt or <laughs> whatever uh, the excrement hole that the fish has. And you're just gonna simply insert in there and start working it on up. Bring it all the way up there, just a little bit further. And you can even cut this right here if you want. You're gonna to wanna to put your knife down and then just work all of the guts out like that. You can grab it with the gills right here and give a little bit of a tear. and throw them all out like that. You're gonna see it's pretty much clean. You're gonna have this little blood vein right there, um, or it's blood and a whole bunch of other stuff. You're just gonna rub your thumb right along there, just like that. You can see it kind of works itself out. And give it a little wash. And there you go. A clean trout ready to uh, skin and put on the frying pan. And if you're looking for a nice simple way to hold all of your fish and carry them while you're still fishing until you get back uh, ready to get back to camp, uh, all you need is to get a simple stick like this that has one little branch coming off somewhere near the bottom and uh, cut it just like this. So what you're gonna do is uh, take off the top, give it just a little point. It doesn't need to be a sharp point. You're gonna take off this side uh, just where it's uh, up enough to uh, keep anything from sliding off and then give the bottom a nice little point and then you're ready to string your fish on and what you'll do is you'll take this top point through one of the sides of the gills or the mouth um, where you clean the fish and simply slide him on like that. This stick right here is going to keep him from sliding off and this point right here will allow you to stick him near the edge of uh, the water um, and to let him stay cool near the water and as well as this little uh, portion right here just allows you to carry him and uh, take him with you wherever you're going down up and down the stream. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, back to fishing and then uh, I'll get to camp and cook these up. Once you're ready to cook your fish, you really have two different options. One is to leave the skin on and the other, like I'm doing, is to take the skin off. I simply make a, a slight little cut behind the head of the fish and then use some pliers to get the skin started moving down the back. And then once you get uh, enough area to grip, uh, all you'll have to do is just grab with the rest of your hands and the skin should pull off pretty easily. Once the fish is skinned, you can then remove the head and go about removing the fins from the lower portion of the fish as well as the dorsal fin on the top of the fish. I simply use a pair of pliers and they will pull off uh, with relative ease. Now at this point you could simply throw the fish in some hot oil and cook as is or coat it with a covering like some cornmeal like I'm doing here. Uh, first, I'm putting it in some buttermilk and then just coating it in some cornmeal that has a little bit of salt and pepper mixed in. And in my opinion, this is definitely the healthiest way to eat a fish. Well, maybe not the healthiest, but at least the tastiest. And here's my father-in-law, Les. He is cooking the fish uh, about a minute or two in some hot oil on an open fire on either side of the fish. 
until uh, just slightly golden brown. Oh yeah. And after that, you're ready to eat. Uh, we usually eat ours with some fried potatoes and maybe a little bit of green and some cornbread. Oh yeah, and uh, my favorite drink of all, Coca-Cola. Pull it in, Marley. Keep doing it, reel it, reel it, reel it. Reel it. Okay, you wanna hold it up and show it? Whoa, Marley! Hey, don't touch it. Go grab it, just touch it. They can never picture of me. I will, I will. Okay, but can you? Hey, what, whose dress are you in? Mira's dad, would you like to try this piece of my fish? Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Why don't you get a picture of my big one?